hello friends welcome again and this is my new project e-commerce portal and i have developed this project in node.js angular and mysql so node version i'm using is and node version 12 and angular version is also 12 so for id i'm using visual studio code for developing both of the application and this is an api driven application where we have developed all of the API in Node.js and all of the front-end development we have developed in Angular, right? On the Angular side, we are using HTML and CSS also. For database side, we are using the MySQL and we are using MySQL plugin for connecting Node.js with the MySQL, right? So these all technology stacks we are using for running this project. For port number, we are using port 4200 on the Angular side port 5000 on the node side right you can change that port so there are a lot of option to change it right so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have developed what the functionalities and features are available inside this project right so once you run this project the this home page you will get you can see this is the home page this is the static content and these all categories are coming dynamically from the dynamically from the database right so this is the about page and this is a static page these are the categories all of the categories are coming from the database right if you click on the category you will be able to see all of the product which belongs to that category right like gifts you can see items are coming books you can see books are coming right so watches you can see watches are coming right so these are the categories page and you can see these are the details details right if you click on the details you will be able to see the details and from here you can add the cart right but there is a restriction you can't add the item into the cart without login like this is the login from where customer can log in this is a registration if you don't have user id and password you can register from here this is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page this is a feedback page and this is also a static feedback page we are not saving and sending a type of email as and sms from these pages right so now i am going to log in as an customer so the user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and the password is test once you log inside the system you will get this page here you can see order now home about order now my orders and logout once you click on the my orders you will be able to see all of the orders which you have paid, played earlier right you can see this is the order and once you click on this tick mark you will be able to see all of the orders which you have placed in that order id right this is order number nine customer name each and every things will be displayed here you can see all right so once you click on the dashboard again you can see order now and after that you can order the product now i am going to add some of the toys so this in the details and add to the cart you can see this item has been added into the cart once you click on the add item then gifts and i want to add this item into cart you can see this item has also added into the cart right and this is the box and details and add into the cart so we have added three items into the cart and total amount we have to pay is 300 if you want to delete any of the item from the cart just click on the delete button and that I, that item will be removed from the cart once you click on the checkout page then it will ask the card card number the total amount you need to pay is 200 right you need to enter the card number this is a dummy page you can enter any of the things here right we are not validating it right this is a card type expiry month and this one right once you click on the make payment you will get the order details your order id is 11 and you will be able to see all of the orders right so if you want to see the history once click on the my orders and you can see order number 11 is here once you click on this arrow icon you will be able to see the order details right so my in the my administration section you will see the my orders the last thing is the logout once you click on the logout then above category will not be displayed the my administration will not be displayed you will not be able to buy any items you will not be able to add items into the cart because those are login restricted right 
so once you click on the logout you can see the menu has been changed but if you log in then there are different menus right so these all functionalities we have developed inside of this project e-commerce portal there is not there is no admin panel inside this project. there is only and only customer panel available but if you need admin panel we will incorporate those things also if you need extra functionality inside this project just put it into the comment we will incorporate those things we will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much